No Ums, number 53 for March the 25th, 2023. This is perhaps a momentous week because I got to the end of chapter five of Patsy Rodenberg's The Need for Words. Uh, Shakespearean vocal coach. I've been working through her book for many, many, many a week, and especially chapter five. Chapter five has been especially rich because it has been crammed full of so many exercises on on speech, on making speeches, of of trying to kind of get a connection to both the meaning of the word, but also trying to work on your language and how I can try and be a better communicator of language to other people. But also, um, there is a part of it which is also becoming more connected to the text that we're reading. And that's been, that's really been valuable. I, I, I admit I found other chapters of hers less useful, mostly because it's been, there's been a lot of pontificating on the state of language today by uh, a woman who's probably, I, you get the sense just from her tone of voice and how she's writing someone at the end of their career who's maybe not that super pleased by how, how language is today. I mean, I really get the sense that language is something that she thinks probably came to its heights in Shakespearean time. And a, a lot of uh, everyday connection to language now is not nearly as rich that seems to be one of these halcyon days uh, exercises. I think there are some people who are have always been deeply wedded to language and other people who simply use it as a blunt thing to get themselves from point A to point B, don't really use it for thought, don't use, use it for emotion. It's more like barking orders, and that's, that's about it. But... Yeah, it's been a really rich book. Now, the next, the, the chapter that is now coming up is, oh, here, let's get out of, I am, I have just finished doing, reading, reading out loud uh, my, my uh, Orlando Furioso for this week. And uh, I was, I was there. We are now in, the next chapter coming up is, number six is working further with text, which is, is there seems to be a thing of she's talking like well when you're speaking we all become actors so let me teach you all these acting techniques and I can't see how do you learn how do you learn to need the words of others and then to express them for yourself which is okay you're working with set texts that of other people and how do you learn how to express those yourself I. Don't, I, I'm skeptical that that is something that is, is is particularly a direct correlation to me just yakking on camera extemporaneously in my own voice. I don't know if it's particularly going to help me there. I do think it might help me as a reader. Uh, there's a there's a big hunk of this chapter coming up, which is all about is going to be all about Shakespeare. And I I have a sense that I'm going to read it. And this chapter is. Um, it's weird. The book up until now, I'm at 52%. And then the rest of the book is chapter six. So half the book is this, which is odd because before this, half the book was more than a, a giant third of this book was her pontificating on stuff. We've then gotten exercises and now we're getting this working with further text, um, which, uh, you really get the sense of like, okay, chapter five is the actual work of that her as a teacher, but you couldn't sell this. So you put a lot of opinion at the beginning. And now at the end, she's just kind of switching back into, okay, I am a, a drama teacher. Here I am teaching drama, drama, even though a lot of the earlier chapters seem to be, you're a businessman, you need to speak and with authority in front of your, 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 your subordinates and make them follow you in leadership, which also isn't me, but it was useful because it was actually speaking. Now we're getting back into, okay, acting. Um, so we're going to have to see how that goes. I, my plan is to read this for the next week or week or so. I'm just going to read this chapter straight through, unlike chapter five, where I, I did it very segment by segment. I'm just going to read this all the way through 
see if I can find a couple of things of note to make make some vocal videos on. I do have a Darren McStay. Darren McStay came out with a uh, another video. He is a YouTube a vocal vocal coach guy. I think he does a lot of speech acting or maybe acting in general, but this is very much, okay, hey, you're somebody who wants to learn how to, to um, use your voice better in a, in a vocal thing. Sometimes it's uh, doing audio books and finding characters, but a lot of it is, ah, here's how you mechanically warm up your voice. Here's how you become a, a clearer speaker that way. And I'm I, I may just drop that in to give myself a little bit of further space to work through this geezly long chapter here. So that that is that is my thoughts. That is my thoughts. I'm 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 just reading a book for my own pleasure at the moment, and maybe once I finish that, I'll just say, okay, stop. Just read this chapter. Let this be your main reading. Get chapter six done. So that's my plan: is get this chapter, read this chapter six. We'll come back here and report maybe in a, just a vocal video of like, this is chapter six. Here's what I think about it. Um, and, you know, okay, maybe I did find some exercises I can do for further videos. But if not, that will be the end of Patsy Rodenberg. Wow. Wow. But that, God damn it. Now I have to find something else. That'll be the other thing. What'll be my next, my next work to, to come through. Uh, probably what I should actually do is then go back through all my old videos of all my old vocal videos and go and review them and think about, okay, which, which of these exercises really did vibrate, uh, that I can kind of break it down into a little, little pamphlet for myself of here are exercises to do. Here are ways because I definitely found, oh, well, that was useful. But, you know, only doing it once for a vocal video, it's it's good that way because I, I did it once for the vocal video and I usually talked about it in the No Ums video. But then it can kind of like drift off in the great blizzard of Patsy Rodenberg uh, exercises. And I probably need to figure out a way of boiling those down and having a little like, OK, I need to I want to do something today. OK, I'll do this one and just kind of keep on keep on with that practice there uh, to get the most out of the book. Good Lord. At some point, I might actually just try and do a review of this book, uh, of what I think of it. Uh, that would be, that'll be an interesting little process in itself where I'll probably go um and ah uh, and stutter and go, go off and do everything wrong, which I mean, probably that's fair case because this is a book for people who can't speak that well. <laughs> So that, 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 that's something I don't have to feel, but boy, I will feel very self-conscious doing that book as a review, which probably means I should really do that book as a review. This book, Patsy Rodenberg's book as a review. All right. I have been Jay. This has been my vocal video for this week. Not my vocal video. This has been my no ums video for this week. No ums 53. Holy crap. More videos later. <laughs>